Hi, welcome to Fix Home Network. Today we will discuss about Linksys Wellup setup. What is Linksys Wellup? Linksys Wellup is a high performing modular Wi Fi mesh system of nodes built to provide exceptional Wi Fi coverage throughout your home. It comes in a single node package, two nodes package, and in three nodes package. Now, this system will replace your existing wireless router network at home with the new Linksys Wellup network. Now, why not a range expander? Now, whenever you connect one range expander, it will reduce the Wi-Fi speed by half. So, Linksys Wellup will give you seamless Wi-Fi network with better speed. In this video, we will discuss about how to set up your primary Wellup node and how to add a new node to the existing Wellup network. We will also discuss about the frequently asked questions about the uh, Linksys Wellup setup. So let's start with the uh, setting up the primary Wellup node. Connect the internet modem to one of the Ethernet ports on Linksys Wellup. On the Wellup, there are two Ethernet ports. If you turn it upside down, you will see two Ethernet ports on Wellup. So connect your internet modem to one of the Ethernet ports on Wellup. Now, download the Linksys Wellup app uh, from the internet. It is available on Google Play Store for Android and it is also available on Apple Store for iPhones. So we definitely need this uh, Linksys app uh, in order to set up the Linksys Wellup network. So uh, I guess you have downloaded the Linksys app. So on your mobile device, uh, open the Linksys app tap on the Linksys uh, uh, app and it will open the setup. On the welcome screen, click on or tap on the launch setup. You will see it at the bottom. Then on the next window, select a Wellup system as we are going to set up your primary node. Select the option Wellup system. Now, uh, it will ask you to agree the terms and condition. You can read the terms and condition and then tap on agree to continue. Then the app will use its Bluetooth, Bluetooth connection for the setup. So it will either ask you to turn on the Bluetooth uh, connection on your mobile or it will turn the Bluetooth automatically on. If it does not turn automatically on, then you will need to manually turn on the Bluetooth on your uh, mobile device because this app is going to use the Bluetooth connection to connect to the Wellup for the initial setup. So just turn it on. Then the setup will start looking for your primary Wellup node. It will uh, uh, connect to the uh, Bluetooth of the device and uh, it will uh, search for the Wellup node automatically you don't need to do anything it will do it automatically then on the next uh, uh, step it will find uh, the well up the primary node once it finds the primary node just click on next now the setup will uh, uh, check for the internet connection through the modem you have already connected your internet modem to the uh, well up device so the setup the application will try to figure out what type of internet internet connection you have and uh, if you have been given a static ip address uh, from your internet service provider then you will see the option click uh, i want to enter the isp settings manually you can just tap on that uh, option and then enter the static ip addresses manually this is only if you have been given a static ip address for the internet connection if you have cable internet service provider then the develop application will uh, find the internet connection settings automatically you don't need to do anything if you have dsl internet connection then in some dsl internet connection type uh, the internet service provider will give you PPPOE username and password to connect. So this is mostly for the DSL connections and uh, this PPPOE username and password is given by your internet service provider. So it uh, the application will automatically ask you to enter the PPPOE username and password. The application will detect the uh, type of internet connection 
if it finds that uh, it is PPPOE connection, then it will ask you to enter the PPPOE username and password. Just enter the correct username and password and tap next. And this, this is basically done with the internet connection settings. Now it will ask you, the application will ask you to create Linksys Cloud account. It is necessary. So you can enter the email address and password and then click next. If you already have account, uh, Linksys Cloud account, then you can simply uh, go and click on uh, login at the bottom. Now, this is going to personalize your Wi-Fi network. This uh, will ask you to uh, suggest the name for the wireless network and then password. So it is necessary to change your wireless network name from default to something uh, else. So you can simply type in your first name or your last name and this will be your, your wireless network name. So simply enter the name and password and remember this password. This is going to be the password of your wireless network and you will need this password in order to connect to wireless network. To step next. Now, the app, this application may ask you to connect to the newly created wireless network that we just uh, enter the name and password. So you can just uh, go to your Wi-Fi connection on your mobile and uh, try to connect to the newly created wireless network. As it is a secure network, it will ask you to enter the password. So enter the same password that we just uh, uh, created and then connect to the wireless network. So what it is going to do, it is going to disconnect from the Bluetooth and it is uh, going to connect to the wireless network and it will then use that Wi-Fi network to uh, get into develop settings. So in this process you may uh, close the Linksys uh, application to get connected to the wireless network. Now just reopen the uh, Linksys app and it will start uh, from uh, where we you left now it will now the application will uh, start configuring your develop network uh, it we have already given a wireless network name and password and uh, you are already inside the uh, develop settings and we have already configured the internet connection settings also so this is uh, mostly all the uh, settings are already done so uh, what it will ask you, it will ask you to give a name to that particular uh, primary develop node. So wherever you keep this uh, node, you can uh, put a name for this uh, develop node, primary node. So there are some uh, predefined names. You can select any one of them. Or if you want to uh, customize the name, then at the bottom you will see the option name it something different. Tap on that option and then change the name of this uh, primary node. Now, if, if uh, everything is good, then the next screen will be the success screen. It will show you uh, success. You have set up your primary node successfully. So it's just tap on the next screen and on the next screen, you will see uh, whether you want to add another node or that's it for now. If you have only one node, then just uh, go for the option. That's it for now. And if you want to add uh, another node uh, to extend the network, then tap on add another node. Now, this is basically done with the uh, primary node setup. Now, we will uh, move towards the uh, next step or the next section of the video that is an adding a node to the existing VELOP network. So we are going to add a new node to the existing VELOP network. Okay, now open the Linksys app on your mobile. If it is already open, then go to the menu. You will see the menu icon in the top left corner and uh, then select the option set up a new product you may see that option at the bottom set up a new product on the next screen you will see add nodes to your wireless network select the option add nodes now the next screen will show you the image of uh, uh, the uh, where you can place the extra node or the additional node just see the image and tap next now plug in the power to the new node that you're going to add to the network now wait for the uh, well up to turn on once the light is solid purple tap on the light is purple the light is purple that means your 
device is uh, turned on properly select the option the light is purple then the app will automatically search for the new node it will look for the new node in the network once it finds the new node tap next you will see the option found a node then tap next now wait for the process to finish now the app will suggest you the distance of the new network uh, node from the primary node if your new node is uh, too close to the primary node it will show you that your node is uh, too close you can just uh, place it away from that primary node if the distance is too far then it will show you that uh, the new node is uh, connected very far away from the primary node so you can just move it close to the uh, primary node now uh, once the node is placed properly at a proper distance uh, click next now you will see uh, the same scheme that you saw for the primary node give it a name so that you can identify the newly added node in the network if you have it placed in the family room then select the option family room if it is in kitchen then select the option kitchen or you can simply uh, click on the option name it something different and select the new name for the new node now that's it uh, you have successfully added new network node to the develop network now let's move on to the next section that is frequently asked questions about Linksys Vela. the first question is how many nodes can you add to one Vela network now here is the point technically each node can handle up to 32 users and you can use up to six nodes in a network i have read somewhere on links's forum that they have tested maximum six nodes uh, in a single valve network so each node can handle up to 32 users and you can use six nodes in a single network so it will be like the 32 into 6 is equal to uh, 192 users you can use in a single network now this uh, uh, count may increase they may have tested more nodes in a single network but when I, when i made this video uh, they were using only six nodes in a single network so let's consider you have 100 users then i think four na four nodes will be enough for your network now how to change the develop admin password now uh, let's open the linksys app go to the menu option that is in the top left corner then you will see the option administration go to administration there you will see the option change well up password and hint enter new password and hint that's it now what is the channel finder channel finder uh, is uh, is a process uh, that selects the channel with the least amount of traffic on each node let's consider you have four nodes in a network and one node is using 10 users the other node is uh, supporting 20 users the third node is supporting let's say 25 users and you are going to connect to the new network so the channel finder will uh, select the uh, node which has less traffic so it will go to the first node and it will connect to the first node because that has uh, 10 users so this is how the channel finder works now tap on how to use it tap on menu then go to wi-fi settings select the option advanced wi-fi settings now channel finder and then go to scan channel it will scan for the channel and it will connect to the uh, channel automatically which which has the less traffic that's it for now uh, if you have if you have any question you can comment on this uh, video and if you want more detailed information about links as well up if you want to see more frequently asked questions you can uh, uh, go to my website fixhomenetwork.com you will uh, see the link in the description box uh, just go to the link and you will see more information more questions about links as well up so thanks for watching